Lincoln Park uh, in, in Montgomery County, Rockville, Maryland, where it's located. Uh, a lot of great athletes, man. I can name a few. Brian Howard, Ronnie Matthews, Rika Page. Uh, there was a guy named Buffy Hall who I admire. He was a boxer that inspired me and wanted me to follow in his footsteps. As a kid coming up, I, I didn't have the dedication and the maturity to, to box. I mean, to be dedicated, you gotta be, you gotta be 110 percent in the boxing. It took till I was 20 years old to um, say I want to do this. And um, I'm just like I said, looking at all the other athletes from Lincoln Park, the ones I just named, they, they really inspired me, and um, they went on and did, did great things. I owe a lot of my success to them. My first amateur fight was March 16th, 1991. A year later, I fought in the Olympic trials. And I'm fighting with the great guys like Oscar De La Hoya and Chris Bird and all those guys. And I said, well, see, I'm, I'm rubbing shoulders with these guys. After a year, I'm going to turn pro and you know, I must be pretty good. I dedicated myself to boxing from that point on. My, like I said, my first amateur fight was March 16th, 1991. And my first professional fight was February 93. I signed with Don King at late 94. And we went from there, I was world champion, became world champion June 96. And he's just chasing Tarifi all around the ring and pummeling him. And other champions always complain about this and that. Just fight, unify. You know what I'm saying? I've been a champion for four years, but now I haven't been a champion since 95. I got a son that's in college now, and he's concentrating on that at school right now, but um, he has, he has a talent to be a world champion one day. But as far as me passing on, I'll pass it on to anybody, and I, I, would, I would love to pass on to helping others, not just in boxing, but just in everyday life. I like to talk about my boxing career. I like to talk about my ups and downs of my boxing career and, and how to stay focused once you reach your goal. Because a lot of people reach their goals and they get comfortable. And once you get comfortable, you start to decline. And I always say comfort is the enemy to success. So you gotta stay, you gotta stay humble, stay, stay hungry, and you, you can take it to levels where you never thought you would, 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 would make it. I started uh, teaching boxing classes in 09 in, uh, in Virginia. I teach a good boxing class with hour long cardio. And, it, and my passion is just, I, I love to see people stay in shape. I've seen people where, where they were really sick, had diabetes, um, high blood pressure, cholesterol. And once I was finished with them, all that was gone. So that gives me the passion to keep going.